Good morning, and thank you for joining me today for our Connect lesson. Today we're going to be talking about Psalm 25. Now, do you remember in the Bible where that is? If you get out your Bible and you open it up to about the middle of the Bible, that's where all the Psalms are. And do you remember also that Psalms are prayers that are songs. We don't have the music in here, but it's like a big song book. So our verse today, Psalm 25, talks, the writer talks a lot about being afraid. Have you ever been afraid of something? We don't really know what the writer is afraid of, but it might have been feeling danger from somebody else like a bully. I hope none of you have ever had a problem with a bully, but if you did, you know that can be really scary. There's something else the writer talks about in this psalm about being sorry for doing bad things and what's going to happen to him because he's done those. Who at home raising your hand has ever done a bad thing? Well, look at me. I'm raising my hand because I certainly have done some bad things. And I would think pretty much everybody has something that they regret that they have done. So we probably are all raising our hands at home. So now what do we do with those feelings of the bad things that we have done? Well, we have a choice to make with these feelings of being afraid. Let's look at this passages that I've highlighted in our psalm today. The first there in red, O oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. So there's a choice, a choice to trust in God to figure it out for us. And in purple, I have Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. So you're going to choose the path that God is on. We're going to look for the truth and the teaching that God has and the hope for us. And then finally down here in blue, the Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. So that says that God will always love us and be faithful to us. That is a great help with being afraid, isn't it? Well, choices. Let's go back to that. Every day we make hundreds and hundreds of choices. Some are easy. Some are hard. I'll give you an example. You walk into McDonald's and do you choose to have a hamburger, a chicken sandwich, or chicken nuggets? Then do you choose to have a meal or just get the sandwich? And if you're getting a meal, do you want a medium fry, a small fry, a large fry? Or how about your drink? What kind of drink do you want and do you want that to be medium, small, or large? Those were a lot of choices. Of course, delicious, easy choices. But that just gives you an example of how many choices we have in the day. So the Psalm is talking to us about choosing the right path. If we choose the right path to go on with God, the way that God is leading us, some choices are easy then because God will be guiding us and we learn from the Bible and from coming to church and from those friends around us that are part of our congregation, the right choices to make. We just began the 40 days of Lent. This last Wednesday was Ash Wednesday. This is a really good time to look at what our choices are that we make in life. Nobody can choose for us. We decide which path we want to go on. And the great part is that God will be with us always. So don't be afraid if you make a wrong turn or you make a wrong choice because God will forgive us and stay on the path with us. I have attached a fun read-along video of a book called What Would Danny Do? And the uniqueness of this book is that you get to choose the next step that Danny does. So I hope you'll take a moment and listen to that. Also, join me for the craft that goes along with our Connect lesson today with the attached video. Thank you so much for joining me. And here, let us close out with a prayer. Dear God, hold my hand, God, lead the way. Help me be good every day. 
Let me know what's wrong and right. Keep me safe day and night. Let me know what you have planned. Lead the way, God. Hold my hand. Amen. Okay, our craft for today is highlighting one of the scriptures from Psalm 25, but in a pretty unique way. This is the way that I did mine, but I'm going to give you a couple examples of how you can do it. The scripture that I chose from Psalm 25 was, show me the right path, O Lord, because we're talking about choosing the right path. Now, I did mine with a coffee filter. So if you have one of those at home, I just wet it a little bit and I dropped a few drops of food coloring onto it and then folded it in half and then reopened it and let it dry on top of a paper towel. And once it was dry, I wrote my scripture on it. And then I put a little extra paper behind it because I'm going to hang it from the window. But if you don't have any coffee filters at home or food coloring, you could do it on a piece of paper and you could do it with paints. If you have that, you'd go across with your watercolor paints in sort of a um, pattern of however you'd like that to be. And then once that dries, you can put on your scripture. Or you can also do it with markers. If you take markers, you can color across either your um, coffee filter or your piece of paper and then spray a little water on it to run them together to give it that tie-dyed look. And once that dries, you can add your scripture. So have fun and create.